Safety is always important, and for this year, we continue to offer eight standard airbags and two latch locations. Those are on the second row outboard seats. Hill start assist control. So this has not been on RAV, now it's standard on all grades. What this is meant to do is hold your brake for you if you're on an incline while you transfer your foot from the brake to the gas to prevent you from possibly rolling back and contacting a vehicle or object behind you on a steep hill. What's neat about it is it's our next generation. No longer do you have to press the brake and then press the brake harder, which is how we would activate it previously. This system is now automatic. It uses your yaw rate sensor, knows you're on a hill. It uses your brake pedal sensor, knows the brake pedals to press. So why not make it easier for the driver? It'll automatically do it in certain conditions. Hold that brake while you transfer over, taking the driver's effort out of it and making it easier and safer to drive. All grades will get this. Trailer sway control is something that has not been on RAV, and it's now standard of all grades, excluding the SE. This is basically a function of vehicle stability control, or VSC. If it senses the vehicle swaying with that trailer, whether it's wind or bumpy road inputs, it's going to independently apply brakes and stabilize that vehicle and trailer for you, and it's going to help out. So again, this is standard of all grades except SE. And while we're on cargo or towing, I don't have a towing slide, but we'll just talk about it. Ultimately, this car has 1,500 pounds of towing capacity on all gas models, excluding SE. Now, the hybrid cars, the XLE and the Limited, offer 1,750 pounds. So an additional 250 pounds of towing over its gas counterparts, and that's big. The segment usually has about 1,000 to 1,500 pounds of towing capacity. That's usually where most people lie. There's some versions of turbocharged motors at premium that offer around 3,000, 3,500, but that's not too common in this segment. Big story though, more cargo capacity in the, uh, the hybrid versions. Blind spot monitor, people always ask if we're going to do more of it. This is a nice feature. Ultimately, in the RAV, we are. This was something that was only a package unlimited last year. Now it's standard on SE and above. It's also available on XLE. So three quarters of our vehicles can have it available or standard now. Inside visibility in general is important. So if you don't get blind spot monitor, you get blind spot mirror or that added mirror now. And that's something that's new on our LE and XLE if you don't upgrade the XLE to blind spot monitor. One of our cars today, it's, it's a wrong fitment, but the SE has it just so you can see what those new blind spot mirrors look like. So take a look at that red one just to see what, what it is. Parking sonar has never been on RAV, and now it's standard on the limiteds and available on XLE and SEs. And it's not just rear, it's front and rear parking sonar. And if you have it with the bird's eye view monitor, it ties in very nicely with that overhead view. Star safety is standard on all Torta models and continues to be so. The big story is that Torta safety sense is now standard on the RAV4 Limited and Limited Hybrid. This is the Torta safety sense plus version. It's also going to be available on XLE and SE. And we're going to talk a lot about Torta safety sense tomorrow on the Prius one. So if you can, just hold off on TSS until tomorrow. We're going to be there. Ultimately, TSSP comes with pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert, automatic high beams, and dynamic radar cruise control. And as I mentioned, the grades that it has. It's not just the top of the line grade that offers it as an extra cost or standard item like some of our other competitors. It's standard on our top of the line and available on two other grades. So 75% of our vehicles can have this, this active safety package, which is big. <coughs> In summary, before I hand it back over to Bill, just keep this in mind when you're driving. We have a lot of hybrids out there for you today to see. It's standard on, on, on XLE, oh, I'm sorry, XLE and Limited have the hybrid option. All wheel drive with intelligence is standard, again, on all of those, no front wheel drive options. But with that, the power and the all wheel drive, you're going to get better MPG and range than our conventional RAV. You're going to get better acceleration, better towing capacity, and almost identical cargo capacity. <laughs>